it's Justine, and today I'm going to be showing you something that I am so incredibly excited about. This is the brand new Oceanic Plus dive housing for your iPhone. So this case will not only let you take your iPhone up to 60 meters underwater, but it will also allow you to turn your iPhone into a dive computer. You may remember hearing about Oceanic during the Apple Watch Ultra keynote, where they announced the Apple Watch will now be able to act as a dive computer. And since then, I have recently started diving a few months ago, and I owe it all to this Apple Watch right here. Now, when you're diving, you definitely do want to have at least two dive computers, just to be sure, in case something happens to one of them. Now, what sets this apart from some other dive houses for your iPhone is this has so many various features all built into one. So this has an automatic vacuum pump that creates a super tight seal around your iPhone. This will help prevent any water from entering the housing while you're diving. The integrated leak detector alerts you if there is any moisture detected. This also will act as a dive computer, like I said, but the Oceanic Plus interface is where this really shines. This is an incredible interface that gives you the ability to take photos, videos. There's a smart capture mode that will take video and photos at the same time. You can record raw and compressed formats to take advantage of recording in the highest quality your iPhone is capable of. It has white point correction for depth adaptive adjustment, so as you're diving into deeper depths, the colors start to change. This will automatically apply the correct white balance correction so your photos and videos will look more accurate. Now, all of these photos are saved directly to your iPhone camera roll, so as soon as you hop out of the water, you will have access to them. But what makes this unique is inside of the Oceanic Plus app, you're able to view the gallery of all of your content that you've shot. And what's so awesome about this is you can scroll through here and you can see right on this depth map where you shot the photos, what the location was, and this just adds a whole other element of metadata to these photos. Like, you can actually see the water temperature when you took your photo or video. I mean, that is pretty awesome. They also have some advanced colors color correction, so when you go into the gallery, you can edit your media directly in the app. For most of these photos, I just use the automatic color adjustment, and it did such a great job of really creating a vibrant look out of these underwater photos. And that's kind of the hard thing is when you are diving into deeper depths, the color changes so significantly. This takes into account what depth you're at, so it can automatically color those photos and videos for you. Now the setup on this was super simple. So the first thing that you have to do is you open it up and you make sure that it is all completely dried out and there's no extra water inside, especially if you're on a boat while you're setting this up, be extra careful. So the first thing you'll notice is it gives you a pre-dive checklist. So you wanna make sure your Bluetooth is on, the housing is connected, the housing battery level is above 40, your phone is above 40, and airplane mode is on, and also be sure to turn on do not disturb. The reason for this is you don't want notifications popping up while you're trying to interact with the interface. Because this connects to Bluetooth, you're able to interact using these buttons. There's four right here, and you have the trigger button up here to start and stop videos and take photos. This is the professional way to clean your phone. A little belly action, a little sigh. Okay, so we're gonna open up the Oceanic Plus app and then we're gonna hit this button. We're gonna go scuba, in we go. Continuing through the setup, you'll then open the lower valve cap, confirm the vacuum cap is opened. So this little slot right here is where you're gonna put the desiccant bag and they do recommend changing this with each dive. I didn't change it for each dive, but I did change it each day and everything seemed to work really well. Next is the fun part. 
time to put the iPhone in. Do make sure that it is all the way to the left side so that you'll get a good fit. Next, we're gonna close the lid and when you twist this, it'll lock your iPhone into place. And now you no longer have to touch your iPhone because the phone is connected to the housing so you can use the buttons to control the interface. So you hit next and this is the fun part. This is where the automatic vacuum procedure starts. Now what's cool about this is you'll see the progress and it'll then give you a five minute countdown to make sure that the seal is secure. This takes about five minutes, but I love that this is a safety check just to make sure before you dive to know that your iPhone is safely and secure inside of the housing. Now, once you're underwater though, this is where the experience just feels so intuitive. You're getting that same incredible video quality, photo quality, but under the water. Now, when you're underwater, you have the ability to change all of these settings on the fly, which is pretty awesome because there were definitely some times where I decided to switch from 30 frames per second into 60, into photo, then to smart capture. It's also cool because if you happen to be at a decompression stop, you can go into the gallery and you can look at your content that you've already filmed, which is pretty cool. The other thing that I really like is obviously being able to have my Apple Watch as a dive computer, but if I'm looking through my phone while I'm capturing content, that that is kind of like a secondary device where I can see my depth. It basically is like a mini Apple Watch app, but right there on the overlay of the screen. So you don't have to worry about looking at your watch. So you can not only focus on your content, but also be aware of what's happening with your dive. So this is what the dive computer overlay looks like on the iPhone. And if you wanna get some more information, you can open this up and it looks exactly like it does on the Apple Watch. And I'd love for me, since I do have my Apple Watch Ultra, having this as a, well actually it would be my third device because I also have another dive computer as well. This is gonna be so cool for people who may not have an Apple Watch Ultra and they wanna have a secondary device. You can now use your iPhone as one. This is compatible with iOS 16 and above and here are all of the phones that it is compatible with, which is actually a surprising number of iPhones. So it's pretty exciting if you do have an older device, you can still use this as well. And of course, I mean, there is a new iPhone coming out soon. So you better believe that I will be taking this thing out as soon as I get myself a new phone. So the whole experience while I was underwater was unbelievable. And of course, coming to a place like this, where the water temperatures are warm and just the sights are unbelievable. There's so many fish, the reef is incredible. My favorite dive that we did though was going to the shipwreck and it was unreal to be just floating through a shipwreck that I don't know how long it's been there. Thankfully, we had an incredible dive guide who really helped me since I am a newer diver, really be comfortable with all of my gear, my equipment and feeling confident enough to cruise through the shipwreck and even the videos that I'm showing you guys right here, it doesn't feel like I was actually there. Like it feels like it was a dream, but thankfully I had my iPhone underwater and it was able to capture some really great shots for you. Now, obviously just using your iPhone on a daily basis drains the battery. So you can imagine that after doing several dives, the battery on your iPhone will start getting low. So if you are doing multiple dives in a day, make sure you charge your phone during those surface intervals. So you'll be able to have a fully charged battery for your next dive. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put a link in the description where you can check out the new Oceanic Plus dive housing. This was so much fun to dive with and I cannot wait to get back out there. If you guys haven't already, please like and leave me a comment below where you think I should dive next because this was the place that you guys told me that I should go next. And now that I'm here, where is the next destination? Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos because it is officially iPhone season. So I'll be posting a ton of tech videos here in the next upcoming months. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys maybe in another dive destination. Peace.